I'm Forrest Saunders at the Capitol. Over the weekend, Republicans vying for that GOP presidential nomination in 2024 doubled down on their position of the Trump federal indictment. While some ran to the former president's aid, others condemned him. The former president kept his campaign stops over the weekend. Though Donald Trump's 37-count federal indictment loomed large, an unprecedented criminal allegation Trump labeled as ridiculous, while calling special counsel Jack Smith, quote, deranged in a personal attack. And I watched him yesterday go up and talk. He talked for about two and a half minutes. He was shaking. He was so scared. He didn't want to be there because ultimately these are cowards. Trump's political rivals also weighing in, some running to his aid, not wanting to alienate the former president's base ahead of the primary. And is there a different standard for a Democrat secretary of state versus a former Republican president? Governor Ron DeSantis in North Carolina drew a parallel to the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Though the former secretary of state's emails weren't deliberately withheld and there wasn't evidence of obstruction. I think there needs to be one standard of justice in this country. Let's enforce it on everybody and make sure we all know the rules. Long shot candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, meanwhile, vowed to pardon Trump if convicted, alleging a political motive. Reading that indictment and looking at the selective omissions of both fact and law, Dan, I'm even more convinced that a pardon is the right answer here. Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, who's called on Trump to drop out, couldn't disagree more. It is simply wrong for a candidate to use the pardon power of the, of the United States, of the president, in order to curry votes uh, and in order to get an applause line. Others like Chris Christie weren't buying Trump's victim claims. The former New Jersey governor called the case facts devastating. People are going to argue about who should and who should not have been uh, indicted and who should be tried. But let me say this. The bigger issue for our country is, is this the type of conduct that we want from someone who wants to be president of the United States? Ultimately, that question will be left to the voters as the 2024 GOP primary moves into uncharted waters and the front runner's arraignment is now only hours away. What about Democrats? What do they think about all of this? Well, as far as the president goes, we really haven't had any comments from him as of Monday afternoon. In fact, White House officials say that they learned about the indictment the same as everyone else through news coverage. That is the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.